let this video be a message loud and clear to anyone who wants to steal my stuff. If you steal my shit, I will come after you on the internet and bully you with my niceness. Just yesterday, I bought this new used bicycle and when I went to check on it today, it was stolen. And here I am doing the only thing I know to manage my setbacks, making art. So to understand a little bit more about the inspiration of this painting, uh, you need to know that I recently moved to Zurich and you know, whenever you move to a new place, you have a list of things to do, uh, uh, get, get a driver's license, figure out how the public transport works, uh, figure out where to buy food, make friends, uh, you know, all these little things and checklists that you of like things to do for you to feel settled in. And for me, one of those things is to get a bike because I love riding bicycles and in Zurich everybody rides bicycles, it's a very bicycle friendly city and uh, I was really looking forward to getting one and it took me actually quite a long time. I did not expect me to take uh, a few months for me to finally acquire a bicycle but I did. I went to this uh, used bike uh, market uh, in Zurich and uh, uh, it, it started at 9 and I went there at 8.30 because my friend had told me that uh, you know the, the queues are quite long and by the time you actually get into the market uh, like most of the good ones are gone and so I actually went at maybe like 8.45 even though the event started at 9 and I was already like way behind the queue it took me another 45 minutes to get in and so while in the queue I was thinking okay I gotta save time and like look at bikes from the outs from outside the venue uh, as much as I could see and try to pick out uh, maybe the first ones that I'll take a look at so you know I can uh, I'm not just wandering around in the market so one bike did catch my eye and as soon as I went in I ran towards that bike checked the price it was 280 francs within my budget I took it up for a spin inside the market loved it bought it and then I rode my bike to uh, the university building that I work at I parked it, locked uh, the bike, uh, and then I then we worked for a bit, and uh, you know, um, like as it does in Zurich, it started to pour. It was raining really heavily, and I really didn't feel like biking back in heavy rain. And so I just, since I knew I was coming back the next day anyway, so I just decided to take the pub, take public transport, come back tomorrow, and that is, that is today, uh, <laughs> and uh, uh, pick up the bike then. So when I come in today to pick up the bike, I see that it's gone. The front wheel is still locked onto the rack, but the rest of the bike is gone. And I know I probably should have locked it better, but. Uh, it, it's, it's Zurich. I just was not expecting my my new bike to be uh, so vulnerable. And it was there were lots of other bikes around, and it seemed like only my bike was gone. And I was so bummed. As soon as I saw it, I just turned around, took ten steps. I was like, wait, my lock is still there. At least I can get the lock out. So I went. I had the key, so I opened the lock. Uh, put the lock uh, in my bag and I started walking away. I walked for maybe five minutes when I realized like wait there's also that wheel, that wheel is still there. I was like I don't want it, what am I gonna do with just a wheel? That, then I was like okay at least it, it, I'll just put it, on, put it, hang it on the wall, it'll look good you know, it'll be a story. So I just went back, picked up the wheel and started walking with the wheel. I didn't even have a direction, I just started wandering. And my thoughts were like incoherent and even now if you sorry if this video is a little bit more uh, incoherent and rambly uh, this is this happened today so all my thoughts and emotions are still still quite raw so here i am wandering around not I'm, I'm, i really don't know what to do i can't like the rest of the day can't go on as normal anymore and and i just didn't know what to do and then i'm, I'm thinking the only way I know how to handle setbacks lately is to make art. It gives me so much peace of mind and as soon as I made up my mind to paint something, automatically I felt better. Uh, I slowly started to make the way towards the train station so I can take the train home and while waiting for the train, um, I, I, you know, it was, there was not a lot of people around so I just took a, uh, put my phone on self timer and clicked a few photographs because I thought it was really funny of me uh, waiting at the train station with a bicycle wheel when I was actually going to supposed to bike home but I can't bike home but at least I'm carrying the wheel home uh, in the train station 
and so i decided i didn't start, like just the thought of painting you know i'm like trying to f- get some humor back into my life i i was messaging uh, i posted that on instagram as well so i posted uh, the like photograph of the bike yesterday on the instagram on instagram and today i had to post I, you know i was like oh what am i like should i post it on instagram should i tell everybody that like my bike was stolen and i felt really vulnerable and afraid to do that at the beginning but by this time it had been like maybe an hour and i i already started to find humor so i posted this photograph on instagram with the caption of wondering where the rest of my new bicycle is <laughs> um so i got home and now i've started painting and it's now it's really starting to uh, like i i knew that painting helps me process emotions and if i'm going through something painting does help me calm down and take another look just realize uh, how big or small the problem is and what the solution might be or am i overreacting things like that it just gives me it's like meditation it helps me figure uh, like get my get back to my bearings i would say and it always has so uh, the name of the channel silver lining art um is embedded very much in this uh, idea that art has had art has been my silver lining uh, during the covid-19 pandemic when actually it was the first time i started painting uh, it was i was really like alone by myself quarantined uh, like sorry locked down uh, couldn't do much I had a lot of downtime and almost all the worries of the world and about the world and everybody in the world on my mind and that is when i just bought some paper bought some paints and i began painting and painting really helped me even then just calm down feel good about uh myself that i am doing something productive uh by painting and uh you know made me like more positive about the future uh, made me feel more positive about the future and then a few months later i was diagnosed with inguinal hernia and that 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 sucked as well because now i was on the bed i had to go through this urgent surgery then i was on the bed couldn't move much for about 2 weeks like breathing hurt forget like moving around just breathing would hurt and but that gave me a lot of downtime this incubation time to look at how to start a youtube channel what it takes to maintain a youtube channel what it's all about how does it work and that incubation period led for to the birth of this channel silver lining art and today i think it is doing exactly the same thing it's almost been a year since i started the channel and still is my silver lining art is still my silver lining in whenever uh, life throws lemons it's like uh, art is uh, what i have to you know the tools to make the lemonade with it um and that's usually how how i see art and that's what this uh painting represents so the, so if you've not figured out this painting is uh, me uh, sitting at the train station waiting uh for the train to come with my bicycle wheel <laughs> and it's again like with wearing the covid-19 mask this also makes me realize that this is the first self portrait I have ever made I've never really painted myself before so this is uh, quite fun really putting I feel I'm really putting myself out there literally by sharing this you know semi like upsetting experience on the internet but also I, I actually feel like I'm painting myself you know um so sharing myself with everybody I hope uh this video is not uh too confusing and not too raw Uh, uh for you but for me it is quite uh, a nice feeling to be able to share these emotions through art and create something new in the process let this video be a message loud and clear to anyone who wants to steal my stuff if you steal my shit i will come after you on the internet and bully you with my niceness to whoever stole my bike i hope you've already acquired a front wheel and i also hope that whatever troubles in life uh, led you to steal my bike in the first place that the bicycle uh, takes you one step closer to overcoming those challenges and for the rest of you who are watching this video i hope you enjoyed and thank you for watching if you did uh, subscribe to the channel like let me know Tell me one of your stories down in the comments below and as always see you next time